everybody, it's Michelle, aka Crimzella, and the time has finally come to make Hufflepuff Common Room. And yes, it is 90 degrees outside, and I am wearing my sweater and Hufflepuff scarf because, you know, I'm making Hufflepuff and I'm a Hufflepuff. See? Pillow? Alright. So, um, okay, yeah. I, I say this about all of them, but this one was challenging in its own way. So, I didn't struggle so much with building it, but the recording part was very frustrating. So I used candles, like the ones that you use in Eco Lifestyle, and or Eco Living, whatever it's called, and those ones actually burned down, which I was aware of, but when I was recording it, it was fine, right? It was showing up, the candle was still there, like yeah, towards the end it was kind of like a little stub, but it was still lit, but then when I realized after recording when I was starting to edit the footage of when I start panning across the rooms and making it look, you know, like a cin cinematic sort of like, ooh, this is Hufflepuff, you know? Um, I realized that the mailbox had spawned once I like turned it into live mode. It spawned in the middle of the living room and because the post was wood and the light inside was like dim, it blended in and I didn't notice it even though I like recorded passing by it and like, you know, so many times I did not notice it until the very end. So I had to like get rid of the mailbox, start recording it again. And by that point, I didn't realize that the candles had already burned down. So I recorded it all over again and editing it the second time around. I didn't notice that the candles were gone until I was completely done. And I was just like, well, poop. <laughs> that's, that's just how it's gonna be. Somebody dropped the ball on that one. Refill in the Hufflepuff candle. Um, also, I never used that portrait of Hilda. Oh my god, what's her name? Hilda Hufflepuff. I forgot her name. I'm such a bad fan. Helga. <laughs> Helga Hufflepuff. I put a poster of that, which I guess is in like a, the Halloween stuff pack. I don't even know, I've never used it before. But they're like the Haunted Mansion posters where they like change. And I was, it was really late at night when I was building it. And I was like just staring and all of a sudden I see like the, the scary face. And I was like, what am I looking at? And then it went away and I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, it was just the painting. So then <laughs> every time after that, I had to uh, wait for her to do her thing and then <laughs> go past <laughs> because she'd get scary every once in a while. Helga Hufflepuff losing her house points. Gryffindor's winning again. She's angry. She's very angry. Um, but yeah, she looks normal <laughs> for the most part. Oh my gosh, I keep dropping my phone. So at the very end, I show like some of the clips of where the mailbox <laughs> It's just kind of chilling and also when her face is evil and Cedric Diggory is just standing there admiring his fire in his cool like yellow and black 80s sweater because I couldn't find any uh thing that looked like Hufflepuff clothes besides that so uh he's just looking cool but yeah anyways back to the build and it's already gone by now but I I was trying to make it look like it was underground and have um, just like vines and just tree trunks and roots in there, but like that's not how the pictures looked. But I was like, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna like make like the seating area inside the trunk area and it was just gonna look really cool, but I was like, this doesn't feel like the right thing. And that white carpet was not doing it, so I do change that later. But yeah, I'm getting rid of all of those vines. I leave them into the where the cellar is because that's like uh, where they enter it's supposed to be like a underground like corridor like a burrow area but um yeah i changed that but let me read since i did it with slytherin i'm going to read uh the description of the common room on the wizardingworld.com all right the hufflepuff common room is entered from the same corridor as the hogwarts kitchen proceeding past the large still life that forms the entrance of the ladder a pile of large barrels is to be found stacked in a shadowy stone recess on the right hand side of the corridor the barrel two from the bottom middle of the second row will open if tapped in the rhythm of helga hufflepuff 
probably like that. As a security device to repel non-Hufflepuffs, tapping on the wrong barrel or tapping in the incorrect number of times results in one of the other lids bursting off and drenching the interloper in vinegar. So I did make uh, barrels in the corridor that goes there, but I don't think they're big enough for the people to actually walk through, so that's just supposed to be like kind of like decoration and then around the corner would be like where the actual entrance is but I didn't film that part or make that part it's just kind of you're pretending it's there my cat might jump up okay my cat's here okay continuing uh, this is Emily <laughs> a sloping earthy passage inside the barrel travels upwards a little way until a cozy round low ceilinged room is revealed reminiscent of a bas badger's set the room is decorated in the cheerful bee-like colors of yellow and black, emphasized by the use of highly polished honey-colored wood for the tables and the round doors which lead to the boys' and girls' dormitories, furnished with comfortable wooden bedsteads all covered in patchwork quilts. So um, I did try to start making light wooded honey stuff, but it looked too orange in The Sims. So <laughs> Emily's just all up in this. She's like, I'm a Hufflepuff too. Hufflepuff. <laughs> Don't step on my keyboard. <laughs> But um, I started doing, oh my gosh, she, she turned off the recording. Oh my gosh, it started completely over again. Um, one second. But yeah, as I was saying. Okay, I have, I'm like playing the video in the background while I'm recording myself over. So she paused it and I had to like completely find like the right space. Like, never mind. Let's continue. So yeah, I had, I changed the wood to darker tones because I thought it felt, it worked better with the color scheme that I was working with. Anyways, um, a colorful profusion of plants and flowers seem to relish in the atmosphere of Hufflepuff common room. Various cacti stand on wooden circular shelves curved to fit the walls, many of them waving and dancing at passers-by, while copper bottom plant holders dangling amid the ceiling cause tendrils of fern and ivies to brush your hair as you pass under them. A portrait over the wooden mantelpiece, carved all over with decorative dancing badgers, shows Helga Hufflepuff, one of the four founders of Hogwarts School, toasting her students with a tiny two-handled golden cup. Small round windows just level with the ground at the foot of the castle show a pleasant view of rippling grass and dandelions, as and occasionally passing feet. These low windows, notwithstanding, the room feels perennially, perennially, I can't say that word, sunny. The complexity or otherwise of the entrance to the common rooms might be said to give a very rough idea of the intellectual reputation of each house. Hufflepuff has an unchanging portal and requires rhythmic tapping. Slytherin and Gryffindor have doorways that challenge the would-be entrant about equally, the former having an almost imperceptible hidden entrance and a varying password, the latter having a capricious guardian and frequently changing passwords. In keeping with its reputation as the house of the most agile minds at Hogwarts, the door to the Ravenclaw common room presents a fresh intellectual or philosophical challenge every time a person knocks on it. Nevertheless, it ought not to be concluded from the above that Hufflepuffs are dimwits or duffers, though they have been cruelly character caricatured that way on occasion. Several outstanding brains have emerged from Hufflepuff House over the centuries. These fine minds sim simply happen to be allied to the outstanding qualities of patience, of strong work ethic, and constancy, all traditional hallmarks of Hufflepuff House. All right, so, <laughs> now that Emily has left, um, that is, I should have read those descriptions for the rest of the common rooms that I built, but I started with Slytherin and, uh, now we have Hufflepuff and we are finished with the common rooms. I am going to actually continue my Hogwarts series because I had so much fun with this. I'm, I have a list of the other places in the world that I'm going to continue with. I want to do the Great Hall. I want to do probably the potions room and some of the other classrooms. I want to do a uh, Hogsmeade, maybe the Shrieking Shack. The Weasley's house <laughs> would probably be very difficult, but I think I might try to do like one room. Um, maybe the, like the Dursleys. But I had a lot of fun with this and I want to continue. But, um, oh yeah, so I made these, you can't have a white ceiling for the Hufflepuff room. So I, I actually built the floor, or built the ceiling out of planks and raised them up, which made it difficult to film like 
overhead later, but it was worth it. And uh, I can't remember what else I was gonna say because of Emily's rude interruption and between me reading the description, it was just like, I can't remember anything, so I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, I'm just enjoying, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the fruits of my labor. But I think, oh yeah, right here it's gonna show, uh, So yeah, that room goes to the entrance, and then those two doors on the side are supposed to be uh, to the boys and girls dormitories. And see the candles missing. The candles are missing from the mantelpiece of the fireplace, which is disappointing, but you know, they, they were there at one point, I promise. Um, excuse me, that was not a burp, that was a hiccup. It, it, it could have been a burp, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but, Oh yeah, what I was gonna say is I went crazy with all the plants. I was like, plant, 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 plant. But I was like, these don't match. <laughs> so I scaled back a lot in the plants and then I just kind of put in a few that looked like they would actually be a part of Hogwarts. Um, ooh, that's another one. I wanna do the uh, the greenhouse area where they have all the plants and the, the herbology classes. That would be a lot of fun to do, I think. Um, but yeah, I think this turned out pretty good. The little dragon plushie on the couch is missing its legs, but I figured he looked like a little cat, you know, like they tuck in their feet on the bottom and they're just like little loaves. He's a little dragon loaf. But um, how much time left is on this video? Because at the very end there's going to be pictures of the mail, videos of the mailbox, I promise, and it's going to be exciting. Maybe not to you, but it was it was exciting to me because it kept me on my toes. <laughs> but yeah, there's the there it is. Um, yep. So yeah, um, like I said, I started with Gryffindor. I did then I did Ravenclaw. I did Slytherin, and now I'm doing Hufflepuff did Hufflepuff. This is Hufflepuff. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Check back for more Hogwarts builds if you would like. And oh, here it comes. Wait, no, it's not coming. This is just, okay, here it is. So yeah, that's just the overview. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope that I can come out with another one soon. And here is angry Helga Hufflepuff staring at Cedric. She's like, you better win. You better win. But uh, we all know how that ends. Oh, there's the mailbox. There's the mailbox again. There's the mailbox again. And again. Little mailbox. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.